Hi, I'm Debbie, and welcome to Divine Destiny with Debbie. Today we're reading for August 20th, 21st, and 22nd, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Now, this is considered the short reading, so I will be using my Radley Valentine Angel Tarot cards for the main reading. I will pull one from my Archangel Power Tarot cards. I will pull one from my Guardian Angel cards also. These are both, you know, all of these are Radley Valentine. Now, I will also then finish the reading pulling one from my Emily Anderson crystal deck. Now, I have prayed, meditated, and infused all the decks with Reiki energy, but remember, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate. Take what you like, leave the rest. I am an intuitive channeler. I open myself to higher power. My job is just to deliver the message and try not to get too much in the way of it. Anyway, we are entering on the 22nd. Well, we are finishing Leo season, which has been very, very interesting energies all around us. Um, you know, and I mean, remember, Leo wants honesty. Leo wants to clear things out. Leo wants things to be where it needs to be. We also had all of the other stuff going on. So if you, you know, if you want to know what that's about, you can go back to some of my past videos with that. But we are having some more interesting energies going on this week, this weekend, I should say. Okay, so what do we have going on the 19th, 20th? We have Uranus which is in Taurus right now, so expect the unexpected, it is going retrograde. So really, you know, it's a slower moving um, energy, but when it starts to go retrograde, things do pick up a little more. So whatever we have gone through in the last, I don't know, couple of months, we probably can be revisiting it. Now again, Uranus is, also Uranus is very, uh, very, closely um, aligned with Aquarius. It has a lot of things to do with lightning. So lightning strikes, things coming in, things that we might, again, we may not expect. But Aquarius, Saturn is an Aquarius. Saturn and Uranus kind of oppose each other. Saturn wants wants to kind of like, you know, hold everybody down. Uranus is kind of like, no, everybody be free, be free. So it's kind of a, um, it's it, there's a duality with that energy. Saturn is in Aquarius, and I have been saying, now it started, what, the end of December of 2020, so, you know, and it will be there for at least two years, a little over two years. Saturn in Aquarius has been about reality versus illusion, or maybe I should say illusion versus reality, okay? And now we have Uranus going retro. We will see what we will see with that one. Also, too, we have that full moon, and that full moon will be, it's the second full moon of Aquarius again. Aquarius, you know, Aquarius is rather is a little bit of the rebel. Aquarius likes to break through, likes to kind of see things the way they're supposed to be seen and not necessarily follow that pack. Well, Aquarius full moon will be on the 22nd at 8.01 a.m. Central Standard Time. It will align with Jupiter, and it's the second full moon in Aquarius during Leo season. So Leo season has been bracketed by those two full moons. Jupiter is about enlargement, um, and it also has really very positive energy. So this could be something that really pops for us even more so. And then, of course, later on at 3.35 p.m., again, Eastern Standard Time, Virgo season begins. Now, I have put in you know, I have done the longer readings. Virgo season energy was a little sticky. It felt a little sticky because it was, maybe it's because it's getting real now, but it just felt a little sticky. So I did do the long readings for each of your signs, so please take a look at that too. Okay, let's pull out, we're going to pull out my my rider, or, you know, weight rider, rider tarot cards and see what we have as an overview for this weekend. Now, this isn't necessarily individual, and this isn't individual, though you may relate to it. This is more of an overview or a global view. Okay, so let's go on. And yes, I have prayed, meditated, and infused these decks also, this deck also, with Reiki energy. So let's see what we have here, just as an overview for the weekend. Okay, there we go. First card. Now... This is reversed. Reversed cards have a little more have a little more power to it. 
a little more oomph to it. So here we have, we have an 11. 11, 1, 1, new beginnings. Um, we can see it as a 10, 1, 10, 0, 1. You know, so 10's transitional energy with a new beginning. We can add the 1's together. It comes up with 2's. That means choices. Justice has a lot of energy to it. Now, there is a lot of Libra energy with justice, the scales of justice. Um, you know, basically just the facts. I want to know what's going on. I want to know what's happening. And so, the, you know, this is an interesting energy to come up for this weekend, especially with Uranus and all the other stuff I just talked to you about. And, you know, when I talk about Libra energy, there will be a lot of Libra energy in Virgo season. So justice, what does justice mean? Now, is that karmic justice? Is that legal justice? Is that just things being made right? Um, you know, or possibly, you know, be, you know being um, held accountable? I would say yes to all of that. Now, let's go on here. Ah, here we go. And I love these. I love these ladies. These are ladies. These are the, th this is the three of, of cups, okay? Cups is our water energy. It is our Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio energy. Fluid, emotional. Three has a lot of power to it. There's the power of three. They're saying something three times. There's the Trinity. And I just heard this too, and I really, really, really connected with me. Threes are about confirmation also. So it's something con confirming. This is about celebration. This is an emotional release. This is feeling better about whatever this is that's happening. These three ladies, they're joining together, they're lifting up their cups, and they are celebrating. So let's see what this last cup is. Our last, oh, okay. And all of these have been reversed. Now this is a 21. So we have that 2-1 energy again. I talked about some of that. Or you can look at it as a 10-10-1 energy again. So the world is basically... If, you know, things come together, it's a good job, there could be some endings to this, but the endings actually bring out that better, better, that better new beginning. I would say that this is lovely energy, especially during the times that we're having and during the times we've been through. But this is also why I am, also, I am always telling you that we need to keep our vibrations high, our thoughts high, our words high. Together, we are very forceful. We are powerful by keeping that energy high. Okay? Okay. So, oh, remember, hit the button, like, share, subscribe, click on the bell for notifications. Thank you very much, and let's start our readings. Hello, my Cancers, and how are you? Well, well, we are at, welcome, we are at the end of Leo season. And there is a full moon, once again, in Aquarius. And you are the moon baby, so get out there and release, relinquish, and request. Release what's holding you back, relinquish what you don't need anymore, and request, because this is the time of wishes. Okay. Um, you know, some people ask, well, when do we do this? So sometimes you can do it like three days before, three days after. Since this is on the morning from my time, well, in Eastern time zone, I'm actually Central, but Eastern, this is in the morning. Well, it'll be morning for Central, too. Um, on the 22nd, I probably, maybe the 19th, but definitely the 20th, 21st, 22nd, 23rd. Maybe if I forgot about it and I go, oh my gosh, the full moon, maybe the 24th also. So again, release, relinquish, and request. Put out, put out there, you know, what it is. Remember, we are in Aquarius. This is an Aquarius moon. Use that air energy, but go ahead, write things down, and put it on your refrigerator. Put it wherever you can see it. Whatever the list is that you've been wanting you know, whatever you need to let go of, whatever you need, want to be, to want to let go of you, okay? It, it doesn't mean that you have to just let go of something. Something could be very much attached to you that you need to cut that attachment. So put it out there, okay? Okay. Anyway, let's see what we have for my cancers. Reverse card has some strength to it. First card is the three of water. Now, if I remember correctly, did I, did this have this in the you know in the introduction, we had the three of cups, 
which is celebration. Okay, if I'm if I'm remembering correctly, so go back, make sure you watch the introduction. But the three threes have power in the number, power of three, doing something three times. Um, there's the Trinity. There's also creativity, and I you know heard this and I thought I like this too. Threes have confirmation. So something you've been waiting for, something you've been wanting, you know, have a time. You know, this could be that time that you get confirmation, and it gives you something to celebrate about. Water energy is Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, fluid, emotional. Reach out. Basically put it out there. And then when you hear this, when you get the confirmation, you go right ahead. You celebrate my Cancers. Okay, a celebration, a wedding, graduation, or birth announcements. There is a need, though, to have more fun. Anyway, next card is the King of Water. Now, the King of Water is interesting energy. The King's underlying energy is Air, swords. Um, sword energy is um, basically your Leo, Libra, your Aquarius, which there's a lot of stuff, Libra and Aquarius right now, and going into into Virgo season. It's also Gemini. It is thought processes. It is making plans. It is also hearing news. Now, water energy, though, the king of water has gone through the highs and the lows. The um the you know the water energy the king of water has really come out a more mature a more level headed but also somebody that emotionally a, a higher emotional um quotient you know what is it you know eq you know has more maturity in that emotional realm so the king and whether you are male or female whatever's happening here whatever this is all about whatever you're hearing um you know this brings you to a, a this almost brings you to a place of peace this almost brings you to a place of okay i can deal with this i can work with this it's it's kind of like a it's a sense of a, I, i'm getting this sense of peace the sense of okay this is good this is good anyway let's go on trustworthy compassionate respected and cultured open your heart and mind to those around you Trustworthy and heartfelt advice, charity work. Your next card, the Ten of Water. So now we have a three, one, zero. Definitely look those numbers up. Tens are transitional energies. This is, you know, this is like moving from one place to another place. This, you know, one is that new beginning. Zero is God and um, divine, the source, the creator energy too. Again, you have all of this emotional energy, but all of this very much flowing energy too. So don't just think about this as emotional as things are flowing, things are transitioning, things are moving the way they're supposed to move. The blocks have been lifted. The blocks have been lifted. Now, the Ten of Water is all about, you know, happy relationships, happy homes. Okay, so a contented and rewarding family life. Your emotional and material needs are met. Trustworthy relationships. It's like the block, you know, like the dam has been opened. Okay? It's not, there's no holding back anymore. Things have to go the way things have to go. So, so you know, this is, this is lovely. And again, the king of water has an emotional maturity. He has that EQ, that, um, that high EQ level, if you know what I'm talking about. Emotional quote, quota, quotient, quotient, I think it is. Anyway. There, there, it's just a, okay, you know, the king of water has gone through the ringer, but has come out that much better. Anyway, okay, oh, look at that. That one flew, and this is reversed. Now, the, this one is the king of Raphael. The king of Raphael is the king of water. So there's a lot of things happening here. There's a lot of, and the king of, of Raphael is also telling you to have confidence, not to worry so much. The king of Raphael is saying, you know, saying things are going to be much better than you even think. So here we go. Warm, generous, honorable, and refined. Yes, it is safe to trust the ability to accomplish many things at once. Follow your creative passions. All of this water, and I don't necessarily, it, I, it does not feel like it's a crying type of energy. It just feels like things are flowing the way they need to flow. It's like, you know, it, it's just like all, everything is in harmony now. So uh, embrace it. So we had the three, one, zero. Definitely look those up. Okay. Now let's go on with my guardian angel cards and see. Oh, didn't know. That didn't fly out. 
thought it did, but it didn't. Here we go. Here we are. Three of emotions. Now, three of emotion is, again, the three of cups, the three of water. And I, it, it, please, you know, you know, it's, I think we had that in the introduction also. So take a look at that. Oh, my gosh. Again, all of this is fluid. All of this is flowing energy. This is positive flowing. No blocks. There's nothing stopping it. Three of, emo, three of emotion. Wonderful news is on its way. Announcements regarding engagements, pregnancies, birth, or graduations will be revealed. New friends will be made or community of like-minded people will draw closer to one another. Exciting new beginnings or happy endings are just around the corner. Oh my gosh, I don't, I, wow, this, I mean, again, I do not feel any blocks. I do not feel like this is a, you know, kind of like, oh yeah, there's going to be so much emotion. I feel this is happy. This is happy times, happy times. So let's see what crystal or energy is helpful for this weekend for my cancers. Boy, I like this. Here we go. Black obsidian. Now, I'm thinking that this might be my black obsidian here. I'm thinking it is. Black obsidian helps to provide strength, support during changes, everyday stress relief. It also clears negative energy. If you don't have black obsidian, if you have a black stone, that really takes away a lot of negative energies. So... My cancers, this is awesome. Like I said, I feel like like the energies are flowing without any blocks. They're going the way they need to go. There's a lot of um a lot of resolution happening for you. I like that. Okay, so my cancers, remember, please like, share, subscribe, click on the bell, click on the buttons. You keep me on air and I appreciate you so much. Also, no matter what the world throws at us, my Cancers, always know that you are loved. Stay shining and be blessed. Bye-bye.